So, I'm watching you on Software on Our Belly back in the day, a couple years ago or whatever. And I'm hearing you talk about having a daughter or whatever. And I forget how I like put all the pieces together on this. But then I see another interview. And I didn't watch this interview because the title was very disturbing to me. But it was something like 13-year-old prostitute. And I was pretty shocked that Mark would interview a 13-year-old prostitute. Um, although I guess that's that's kind of what he does. He tells the most grisly stories possible. And then I don't I don't think I ever clicked on it because it was kind of a disturbing concept. But yeah. then I start to realize that's your daughter. Mm-hmm. So let me tell you how How's God works. Happen? Let me tell you how God works. Okay. When you have somebody like a Snoopy trying mm. to come and destroy you, right? But that's not his kid, right? It's not his kid okay. at all. But when he was doing what he was doing, beating me, doing all this stuff, it was in front trying to be in front of my daughter. Let me not say in front because how he would do it. God is always protecting me because he knows what I've been through. Mm -hmm. So when it's somebody that's intentionally trying to destroy what you have, whether that's motherhood, a career, an image, God is not going to let it happen. It may be foreign, but it won't prosper. So what happened was he would try to pull a stunt, Snoopy, in front of my daughter on the phone, even told her certain things, oh, your mom don't love you, which caused a division in me and my daughter's relationship, because she's like, Mom, why are you dealing with this shit? Mm. And also, I don't feel comfortable with being at this house when every time I look up, the door is getting knocked down. I want to go to my friend's house. Now I'm about to run away. You're not doing what you're doing no more. You're not being a singer no more. I thought I had the mom mm. that was going to motivate me to be the best that I can be. But since we're broke now, you're getting battered now. I want to go to my homegirl house. And I ran away. And I'm listening to everybody else who doesn't like my mom. I'm running into my mom's enemies. I'm letting people get into my ear. And I see my mom on South by Underbelly. I want to go on South by Underbelly too. So you didn't approve that or anything? Hell no. Right. She was ran away missing at that time. So what saved my ass was as a parent, I reported every time she ran away, which was about five times. Mm -hmm. So that saved me. Snoopy also said that I was her pimp and that I had her out there. So that saved me that she had that interview because now it shows how can her mom be pimping her and she's missing, but she has an interview. Obviously, a lot of people are involved. Mm -hmm. It's not just the mom. The mom has no control when she, what people don't know is it saves your ass because it lets you know if I report my daughter missing, that means that I can't control her anyway. So whatever happens out of my control is not my fault. So if somebody like a Snoopy or some random ass person says she's not being a good mom, how so? And she's not in the household. Mm. Now, if she's beating her in the household, that's different. If she's neglecting her while in the household, that's different. But it's not neglect if she's outside. Mm. So. And you just felt totally powerless to stop her from living that way? Not totally powerless. I talked to her. I did the best that I could do. But then I realized, like, I know how kids are. I was once a kid. Mm. You have to wait until they're ready. If you try to keep barging into them, and this is what I learned in parenting classes too. The best thing is not forcing them to do nothing that they don't want to. Let them experience whatever, but always be there for them with open arms if they do call you. Mm -hmm. Don't leave them out there. But as far as looking for them, I mean, of course I looked for her, but it's, it's she wasn't there every single time. But at a certain point, if your kid is involved in something that dangerous at such a young age, I mean. And that's how I found out. I did not know until that interview. So she went from a runaway to that. It escalated to that because while you're running away, you're running into different people that is influencing you. So if I run away at 15, I will go from stealing because I'm with this homegirl that steals. I will go to smoking because I'm with this homegirl that smoke. Now I'm fucking because my best friend just lost her virginity. Now I run into a prostitute that's like, you want some money? And I'm hungry because mm -hmm. I haven't been going home. So it's like, well, what do I got to do? Well, you know, my mom is who she is. You're going to have to hide me. So I've heard a lot of the times when she went out on the blade, her friends would be out on the blade, but she'll be in the car. Uh -huh. Or she'll be hiding, running. In a clip that we seen, she was running. She seen a camera and she ran and almost fell in her heels. Running from the camera, not yeah. running away from the actual situation. Oh, no, because she was trying to get her money. Whoa. Um, do you, I mean, it seems like you have a cool relationship with Mark from Soft and Underbelly. Do you resent him at all for putting her on camera like that? I resented him at first, but I also needed that to show the courts this is what's going on. 
Right. And people are accepting this sob story and people are accepting this. So don't run down on me because I'm not accepting it. I'm the only one who's not. But when you got an army who's um, provoking it, accepting it, entertaining it. Who's the army? Just all the people who are that, been in uh, other um, girls and the comments oh i oh, feel so too. sorry for her or who will believe her stories or people who will harbor the minor without calling the uh, adult like nobody never once said who is this girl's mom what are you doing here i need to talk to someone no because they go with the story so they're just condoning it in a sense so as far as you know she's still living the same way or hell no because oh. what i did was i got involved i blew it up and when my plan was to make her so viral she was gonna make herself viral but with me with the cherry on on the, on the top made her uncomfortable to even be on the blade. Mm. Mm -mm. My mama done already busted me. Uh -uh. Y'all know my mama. She done made me viral. So, and then it was kind of hard finding her. And then also, while she was being bad, I started messing with C-Mat. Did X4's music video. I know how to get my baby to call. You did a video with X4? I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh. It's called Poppy. Oh. And it was right after I broke up with C Mac the first time before I got with him again. So he was trolling a little bit, doing the C Mac dance behind me. I'm like, boy. Huh? And who called? My daughter. Mm. Mom, I just seen you in X4 video. It was X4 video. Ah! She thought it was tight. Oh my God. So now I'm a hero again. Oh, mom, I can't believe you're messing with Five Five. <laughs> she even was on her story like, Mom, I will stop doing what I'm doing. If you stop talking to him, kid shit, looking for the attention. Right. Teenager so, shit. So where is she at now? She's safe. She's not on the blade anymore. Okay. Um, We talk all the time. I just talked to her this morning. Now, the situation right now, my case is closed already. Period. It just closed. Your case in terms of? Dealing with her? No, with the uh, children's services stuff. Oh, okay. And um, we have, you know, family unification helping us with her whereabouts because she had to go to placement. And, you know, she had to basically turn herself in and do all these things or whatever. And that's where we're at right now, just her getting back into society, coming from the viralness, the separation in the family, um, relocation, everything that's just new, mm. the new baby that's going on. So it's a lot. It's a lot that I deal with with that. But, I mean, I'm used to it now. At first I was totally confused, like, what, what do I do? Where do I go? Who do I call? But it was a blessing. Even the children's services, it was a blessing because it kept the Snoopy away from me. It divided my family and let me know what I needed to do as a mother and a parent. Mm. It aligned some things for me. I lost some things, but then I gained some things. And now I know. It's crazy because it's bad enough to be, you know, 13, 14, whatever, selling pussy. It's another thing to have there be a video of you talking about it on the Internet so that for the rest of your life, people are going to be able to go back. To right. That. And I tell her all the time, don't be ashamed of what you do either, because you did that for a reason. But you're going to have to make it make sense since you did it. Mm. You're going to have to make it make sense. But you, you Don't live with no regrets. Not She's still in school? Homeschool. Oh, okay. So we want her to go to a regular school, but we just want to get a little bit more, mm, how can I say it? Because this should have break you down. Yeah. yeah. The, the, it, it'll break you down, like along with confidence. Like she's in therapy. I'm in therapy. And so, you know, but she wouldn't tell nobody that she wouldn't be. That's not a cool thing to do. Mm. But me as a mom and what I've been through, I was always a cool kid and I want her to be a cool kid too, but I want her mind to be cool too. Right. So I don't think she's embarrassed. I think if she had a different parent, she would probably be, mm. but not with a parent like me. I, I'm going to, I'm going to love the child that I have and not the child that I want. Right. You know what I'm saying? It is crazy how, like, in my mind, if you're 18, 19, and you want to go sell on the street, it is your business. But a, a young kid doing it. It ain't doing cool, because if you're young, just, that shit will traumatize you without you even knowing. Yeah, I mean, you're just not capable of, like, even an 18 or 19-year-old girl making that decision. Come on. I mean, you're probably on drugs. You're probably 
got some dude putting crazy ass ideas into your head. But it gets it gets glamorized these days. Like, okay, it's yeah. a lot of minors on the blade right now. And I, that's why they're shutting it down or attempting to, right? Because that's our, what I'm saying. Every the, the, the or the government police. Feds, oh, well, I don't know. I kind of thought that they passed that law. That's why they don't care. I thought that Biden did something. Well, I just saw like a press conference where they were talking about how they had reports of 50 or 100 different underage girls that they caught doing it on there. And that's oh, why fig. they were trying to clean fig up and everything. I but, just seen that a few months ago, I mean, right? If they clean up fig, it's just going somewhere else, right? It's like a matter of yeah. months or weeks until there's a new hot spot where exactly. everybody's going to be at, right? Yeah. 